Hi guys, welcome to Verbling. My name is Joe, and today we're going to be looking at some grammar, uh, looking at some homophones. So, if you're watching this right now, it's live. So click the Join Class button at the top right, and we'll get started shortly. Okay, and why is the first one here? What was that, Manal? Am I the first one here? I think so. <laughs> All right. Um. Cool. Okay. Um. So we'll get started. So, hi guys. My name's Joe. I'm from the United States, and today we're gonna be learning about some homophones. But, uh, uh, Joe, I want to say something. Yes. Before I forget, I really. Get upset today because we couldn't couldn't take the the class. They kept asking and asking and asking. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm sorry, but I'll, I I know I know I didn't know. Well, it's because like because I thought okay, so question and answer session. But then I thought I didn't know like if people would see it or if they'd like have questions. I didn't know what would happen, but like. <laughs> A lot of people no, had questions. No, but if if they if they if they have a question, they can ask you after the class, not before the class. I know, yeah. I, I know, but like I I said, like in the beginning, we'll like ask questions, and I, I kind of I didn't know, but I I'm going to play in the class that you want um, about uh, the misspelled words for next week, and I'll play it at the same time, like you know, not this time, but like uh, what four hours earlier. Yeah, or yeah, five yeah. hours earlier, so so we'll still do it, and it'll be only on like spelling and stuff like that. So All don't right. worry, we'll, we'll still do that. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, before we get into the class, I'd like everybody to introduce themselves by saying your name, uh, country where you're from, and the month that your birthday is in. So just the month. So my name is Joe, from the United States, and my birthday is in January. We'll start from the very left with Ahmad. Ahmed. Are you there? Hi. Hello? Hi. Hello. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind, he's not there. Um, Antonio? Hello, my name is Antonio. I live in Spain. And I was born in March. In March. Okay, alright, cool. Um, Eliab, Eliab Esbe Thompson. Hello. Hello. My name is Eliab. All right. And where are you from? And what month were you born in? Um, I'm from Mexico, but I was born in the United States. Ah, okay, okay. And what month were you born in? Yeah. What what month were you born in? So like January, February, March, April. What month were you born in, Eliab? Uh, what month? Yes. Uh, in June. In June. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. Um, Benedicto, are you there? Benedicto, are you there? Maybe, okay. Benedicto, your microphone may be muted because you just joined. Um, so the way you unmute that is if you look up here, there's a little red button and you click um, unmute. Uh, so while he's figuring that out, Manal? Yeah. Hi, my name is Manal and I'm from Oman and my uh, birthday was uh, on August. In August, okay, all right, cool. Uh, Marina? August, okay, all right, cool. Uh, Marina? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yeah, Benedicto, I think cool. you have the verbling uh, page open in the background. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes, 
ready to take you. I think you have the verbaling page. <laughs> I speak or no? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marina. Um, I'm from Spain. Um, uh, and what do you what what have do you asked when I was born? Yeah, what month? Just the month. Okay, I have uh, I was born in April. When in... I was born? Yeah, yeah when, what month? What month? Just okay, I have uh, I was born. Sorry. <laughs> This is my voice. Okay. Uh, no more, no? Yeah, I think. No, no, no. What what month were you born in? This is my voice. <laughs> Benedicto, you have the verbling. Okay, so Benedicto. So uh, anybody else that's new here, I'm going to show you real quick just to make sure. So notice here I have the verbling tab open. You guys see how it's paused? It's not playing right now. Click pause if you have this page open because otherwise it's going to pick up the um, the class. So Benedicto you have to you have to either close this like that or hit pause because otherwise we're going to hear Marina's voice and my voice like ten times. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Sorry. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. I, I was born in April. April? Say no. No. In April. 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 Yes. Yeah, you could say I was born in April, or it, April. it might be better to say like my birthday is in April. My birthday is in April. There you go. Okay. Cool. Okay. okay. Um. All right. Uh, Moni. Yes. Yes. I'm here. Yes. Hello? There we go. My name is Mary. I'm from Egypt. I was born on March. You were born in March. Okay. All right. Yes. Good. Um, Yusuf. Yes. Hello, Yusuf. Hello. Hi. Um, I'm Yusuf from Yemen, and my birthday is on December. December. Okay. All right. Um, I think that's everybody. Um, all right. So. Welcome everybody. Like I said, today we're gonna be going over some grammar. So we're gonna be we're gonna be going over some things that are called homophones. Um, so first off, uh, I have two documents that we're gonna be looking at. One's a, just a word document. Uh, it's kind of like a worksheet, fun thing. Then also a, a a story with a detective. So we'll we'll be looking at both of those to learn more about homophones and some of the ones that you guys might be making mistakes with those to learn more about homophones and some of the ones that you guys might be making mistakes with those to learn more about Benedicto you have to close you have to close the verb link tab don't worry he'll he'll get it figured out oh I think we scared him away now <laughs> okay well I'm sure he'll figure it out but um first off uh, does anybody know what a homophone is? Yes. What's that are phonetically the same? Y wait, can you say that again, Antonio? What's that are phonetically the same? Yes, exactly. So they're they're um they're pronounced the same, but they're written differently. The meaning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think which is I think what you were saying, Antonio. Um, so, can anybody think of an example? I and I. Exactly, I and I. So I like this I, and then I is in like the pronoun I. So both of those are pronounced the same, but um, this one is spelled E Y E, and the other one is I like me. So that's an example of a homophone. Good job, Moni. Um, so uh, the first thing we're going to look at is, well, actually, what do you guys want to look at first? Do you want to look at the worksheet, or do you want to look at the detective story? 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 OK, all right. So I'm going to pull it up on my screen. If you guys want to pull it up on your screen, uh, if you go to the Verbling class, I uploaded the document so you can click on it. So I'll show you really quickly. Um, 
and then otherwise I'll pull it up on my screen and we're just going to look at this and what it's going to be is a story and there are certain words that are underlined and we have to figure out uh, what is the correct word because they're homophones but the wrong word is used in the story so we have to figure out what is the right word so uh, I'm going to share my screen and we'll see this okay so if you want to uh, if you want to download the documents they're right here Harry homophone and homophones 2003 so the first one the story is what we're gonna start with which is Harry homophone so that's what we're gonna look at first uh, okay so here it is can everybody see this yes okay good okay so um, short story uh, so this is about Harry homophone so would somebody like to read the first uh, sentence first few sentences it's not clear, you, you can't see it very well uh, no. Okay. Um, I'd like to do it like this. Okay. Well, here I can just scroll it. Is this better, or do you want it more? It's um, okay. No. Um. Is that okay or less? Less zoomed in. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Um. So would somebody like to read? Can I? Yeah. Okay. Um, the tech, uh, a short story. No peace for Harry Homophone. <laughs> Detective Harry Homophone knew that this job was almost over. He had been not been hot on the team of Homophone. Ex heavyweight boxer, now notorious gangster. For over a week. But now he was only hours away from getting his man. Okay, good. Thank you for reading. So now we have a few homophones to look at and correct them. So we're going to start with this one right here. Detective Harry Homophone knew that his job. So why is this incorrect? I think I can you can... <laughs> Yeah, with K. And Good, exactly. So it's spelled K-N-E-W. Because new is part of, uh, it's the past tense of the verb know. And so that's what um, should be written here. So it's new, which they're both pronounced the same, but it's spelled with a K. K-N-E-W. Does everybody see that? Yes. Okay. Um, all right. Good. And the next one we have right here, Bean. So he had been hot on the tail. So what is this? It sounds like the same thing. We have Bean and Bean. What was that? The participle of, of the verb to be. Exactly, the participle of the verb to be. And how is that spelled? B E E N. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So here, the sentence reads He had been, or been, I guess, I mean, they, they kind of sound the same. This is been, or bean, like, uh, like, uh, like beans, like let's, let's eat some beans or put some beans in our burrito. But the word that is supposed to be here is been, which is the participle of the verb to be. Good. Okay, and then what about this one? Hot on the tail of Pinky Malone. Any ideas? I think, I think tail T-A-I-L. Perfect. Good. Yeah, so hot on the tail of Pinky Malone. Good. Uh, so this kind, what kind of tail is this? What does this word mean? T A L E. No idea. Any anybody else? No. 
A story. Good. Yes, story. it's a story. Oh, okay. Yeah, so a tale, so like, I might say, guys, today I'm going to tell you the tale of Robin Hood. The story yeah, of yeah. Robin Hood. Yeah. Okay, um, Pinky Malone, X heavyweight. So why is this incorrect? Uh, it is supposed to be weight, W-E-I-G-H-T. Perfect, you're right. Heavyweight. So this is a heavyweight boxer. So... This weight is the verb, obviously, like if you're going to wait for somebody, like, uh, hey, Joe, I was waiting for your class, for example. And the weight here that we're using is weight as in, like, how much you weigh. Good. Okay. Boxer, and now, uh, notorious gangster, four over a week. So why is this incorrect, and why is this incorrect? Week. Yes, week. And how is that spelled? W E E K. K. Yep. K. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay. And what about this word? Why is that incorrect? Mm. Any ideas? Four over a week. For F-O-R. F-O-R. Perfect. Yes. So this for F-O-U-R, refers to the number, like one, yeah. two, three, four. And four is the, the preposition that we should be using for over a week. Good. Yeah, okay. uh, so that one was a little bit difficult. But yeah, for as in F-O-U-R refers to the number, and F-O-R is usually going to be the one that you'll probably use most often, which is the preposition. Okay, uh, but now he was only hours away. Why is this incorrect? Is it supposed to it's be hours? Hour with H -O -U -R -S? Yes, both of you are right, exactly. H O U R S. Hours refers to like, like, uh. Something related to us. Yeah, like p possessive. So, like, that book is ours. Yeah. Good. Okay. Uh, from getting his man. Okay, so now we're on to the next section. So would somebody else like to volunteer and read? Yes, me. Okay. Harry leaned against uh, the wall, pulling his head uh, low over his eyes. He was at the heart down by the shoe, and I had read for him. The place was the third and highest for a head from the boat rise to the middle to the head crept up the beach. Good. Good job. Thank you for reading. Okay. Um so does anybody know why this is underlined or incorrect? Why um we need a different homophone or a different word. Different. Yeah, the first one, Lent. Is it like, uh, uh, like, uh, I don't remember the word. Is, is it like lame or something like that? Um, it's yeah, you're right. It's lent, oh, like it's it's spelled, um, lean lent. It's spelled like it's it's a weird word. I'm gonna write it for you. Um, it's like this: L E A N T, lent. Like Harry lent against the wall. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Good. Um, okay, so Harry leant against the wall. So it looks like it should be spelled that way, but it's L-E-A-N-T. So Harry leant. So it's the past tense of to lean. So Harry leant, leant against the wall, pulling his hat low over his eyes. He was at the harbor down by the shore. So why is this first one incorrect? By. B-Y, I guess. B Y, good. Both of you are right. Buy. This type of buy is like when you buy a water bottle or buy groceries. Yeah. 
when you purchase Purchasing. something. Yeah. And buy is kind of like a transition word. Um, good. Okay, and then what about this one? Sure. This one's a little bit more difficult. The matching of, uh, of a bay or... Yes, and how do you spell that? S H O R E. Good. S H O R E. Sure. Good. This type of sure is like, or sure, it's more like sure, um, is when you're saying yes. Sure. Yeah, I'd love to go to the movies. Good. And what's that mean? Uh, which one? This one? Sure. No, no, no. S H O R E. Sure. Okay. Um, would anybody like to explain? With the shores, somebody just said it. Nice backing up, backing Sorry. up, supporting. Sh uh, no, shore as in like by the beach, like the shore, oh, shoreline. All right. Yeah. But also, it can be like backing up or supporting. Backing up or supporting, um, like can you use it in a sentence? Mm. Um, hold on. Because I'm trying to think, I, I kind of know, I think I know what you're saying, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. Uh, because I think, okay, let's see. I'm not, I don't think, I'm, I think you're thinking of another word, Yusuf. I'm not sure, because sure, I, like I just looked it up in the dictionary, and it's just the land along the edge of a sea, lake, or a river. Uh, oh, okay. So, I mean, I, I don't think so, uh, but may, maybe you're right, and I just don't know. Uh, so, I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, but we'll, st we'll stick with shores and, like, by the ocean. Okay. <clears throat> and night had already fallen. Okay, so why is this night wrong? Without K. Yes, you're right. Without K. Good. And what does this mean, night? With a K. What is, how would you define this word? Night who, like, usually um, ride the horse. Is yes. Right? Yes, you're correct. So, uh, when, when they always say the white. No, no. Oh, no, no. Sorry. Sorry. Forget it. What were, what were you going to say, Manal? No, no, nothing, nothing. Okay. Yes. So, night as in, like, who rides a horse. Like, knight in shining armor is an expression that people use a lot, uh, which I'll write that for you. Guys, um, knight in shining armor. Oops, I think I spelled armor rock. There we go. So, a knight in shining armor. Does anybody know what that expression means? Has anybody heard it before? Yes, no. It's when uh, the day is over. Not no night. Yeah, no. You're right. Night as an N I G H T is when the day is over. But night with a K, like night in shining armor, is. Ah, okay. Home. No, no. Vale. Gentleman. Gentleman. Gen yes, gentleman. gentleman. Exactly. So like night in shining armor is like. Is like um. Uh, like let's say, let's say um, I don't know who's a famous actor, a guy, uh, like Johnny Depp. Like let's say Johnny Depp brings you flowers, and you know he uh, he drives you I don't know like all over the country, and like does a lot of nice things for you. Then you could say he's your knight in shining armor. So like somebody who does somebody who's like like a gentleman exactly. So yeah, knight in shining armor is just like your gentleman, your guy. Okay, uh, the place was deserted and silent except for a ship's bell. Okay, so let's go back right here. So why is, what is this uh, supposed to be? Uh, P -L -A -D -E. Good, yes, place, P-L-A-C-E. And so I'm not, I've never actually seen this word, P-L-A-I-C-E. Does anybody know what that means? No, I don't know. Okay, let's see. It's a European flatfish used for food. Mm. Okay, so I guess it's a fish that you eat, which I, I, I've never heard of before, uh, but I guess it's pronounced the same place. Okay, uh, so the place 
was deserted and silent except for a ship's bell that had rung out once. Okay, so what's wrong about this? Wrong. W-R-O-N-G? Uh, yes, those are pronounced the same. I'm not sure if this is the same one. Let's see. I'm just gonna. Okay, so not in this case. You're 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 correct that that's the right homophone, that those both are pronounced the same. But in this case, rung is spelled R U N G. So there's no W here, because it's like, like let's say, um, here I'm gonna show you an example. So let's say this, uh, this rag is filled with water. And I want to get all the water out. The verb that you use is to wring out. So, like when you do this, like wrap it up, mm -hmm. this is called to wring it out. To like ring, squeezing? Yeah, squeezing the water out. So, like this action is wringing it out. So, like if your mom might say, like, hey, make sure you wring out the towel before you come inside. So, in past tense, it's wrung out. So, for example, during, the, during my class today, uh, or during my English class today, Joe wrung out a towel in front of the camera. So this is okay. the action. Can, so, you can I what? Can you spell it wrong? Yeah, so Orlando just spelled it wrong. Yeah. But but yeah, and you're. What's 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 this uh, that word mean with W? W R U N G. So let's say for example, you say, um, uh, Joe, uh, go to the store. And then go to the store. So then um, I say, then you say, um, you say, hey Joe, is this sentence correct? And I would say, no, it's wrong because you need to say, Joe goes to the store. So your verb there is wrong. Does that make sense? So wrong is the opposite of correct. So you have. No, I mean, I mean, I mean, W R U N G. I know w the meaning of oh, 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 okay, okay. Yeah. W-R, sorry, I misunderstood you. Um, no, it's all right. So we have here three words um, pronounced the same. Yeah, so this home of, yeah, so three homophones. Right. So yeah, rung, okay. rung. Well, well, okay, kind of. So we have rung and rung, but then we have wrong. So notice oh, the okay. difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but uh, to answer your question, rung is the past tense of ring, which means, so ring and ring are like kind of the same thing. Um, I th Hold on, I'm, I'm double checking. Ring. So I'm, I'm a little bit confused here. Um, so rung out, that rung out. Okay, wait, wait. Now, I, okay. Sorry, I confused you guys. So this action is to ring out, as in W R I N G. See, Marina. Um. Okay. So this action that I just explained, I I just told you guys the wrong thing. It's ring. So I'm ringing out the towel. It's spelled W-R-I-N-G. Uh -huh. And then past tense is rung, which is what you were asking. So when I say, like, yeah. uh, today in my English class, Joe rung out of the towel. So that's W-R-U-N-G. Now, what's what it's talking about in this, uh, uh, in this story is ring is, is the past tense of rung. So, for example, if you hit a bell and it makes a dinging noise, like a, like a, Ding dong, ding dong. Then that's rung. So, for example, um, like let's say, let's say, Manal, let's say you, oh, you come yeah, up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. I got it. Does yeah, everybody? Okay. Does everybody else oh, understand? Yeah. So, like, ring. So, like, let's say you you guys all come to my house and you ring the doorbell. Yeah. And then past tense, I might say, Hey, did you guys? Or like, you might say like, hey Joe, we, we rang your doorbell, or we rung your doorbell, rung or rang, same thing. Um, we rung your doorbell, but you weren't there. So this is so this is talking about the bell. So that's why we have that. So does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So uh, here, for a ship's bell that had rung out once. So the, I'm going to read the whole sentence again. The place was deserted. Uh, 
and silent except for a ship's bell that had rung out once or twice. Joe, uh, can you uh, make the, the tickets a little bit smaller so we can see the words, you know, among the sentences? Can I make it smaller? Like yeah, this? It's too, it's too big, we don't see the, the words in the sentence. Do you want me to zoom in or zoom out? Zoom out. Zoom out. Like this? Yeah, it's yeah, there. It's okay. Better. Okay. Um, yeah, so the, the, the place was deserted and silent, except for a ship's bell that had rung out twi once or twice through the sea mist. Or though, through. T-H-R-O-U, uh, I think. Yes, you're right. T T Yes, yeah, yeah. exactly. T-H-R-O-U-G-H. Through the, and then what about this word? C. S-E-A. -E S-E-A, yes. S-E-A. S-E-A, good. Uh-huh. Through the sea, mist. Okay, and what about this word? This word is a little bit difficult. Does anybody know what it's trying to say here? Through the sea, mist, that had crept up to the beach that evening. Does anybody know what this word is? You might. You probably don't know it. M-I-S-T. Yes, exactly. Good. M I S T. So, does anybody? It's mist. So they sound the same, mist and mist. So I'm gonna write that. Does anybody know what mist is? Like a fog. Like a fog, exactly. Let's see if I can pull up a picture to show you. Um, there, there are these things. So like, uh. Sometimes at, at restaurants, when they have seating outside, like if you eat outside on like the patio at the restaurant, they have um, from the roof, they have uh, like kind of like water that kind of shoots down at you, but it's not like water. It's not like, like this kind of water. It's called mist. So it's kind of like, it's like air and water together. And so it's like a breeze on your face. So let's see if I can find a picture of this. So here, I'm going to show you guys a picture. Uh, here we go. So this is kind of like the mist that it's talking about. So see, it's kind of like fog, uh, exactly how he was explaining it. It's like fog. Um, there's an, But the thing I was talking about is called misters. Misters at a restaurant. Let's see if this works. These things. Okay. So can everybody see this? So see this little tube? And see this little thing? This is called mist. And these things are called misters. And they shoot out like, uh, they shoot out mist to keep you cool. Like say it's hot outside, the restaurant might turn on their misters so that you can, uh, you know, you know, like it's not so hot outside. Do you guys see that? Yeah. So yeah. these are these are called misters. Like I think it's spelled like this. Okay. Um, does that make sense about the mist? Is everybody does everybody understand it? Okay. Do you guys understand the mist? Yeah, like, I, yeah I understand. Okay, okay, good. Okay, uh, moving on. Okay. Um, so to see, uh, through the sea mist that had crept up to the beach that evening. So what's wrong with this word? B-E-A. B-E-A-C-H. Good. Okay. Uh, would somebody like to read? B e a c h. Okay, Perfect. What, what's crept uh, up? Crept up. Crept up. You guys, you, you're using verb. Um, um, what? Verb, verb phrase a lot. Yeah, I know it's it's hard. I mean, like the best thing is just to live in like the United States or you know the United oh. Kingdom and like 
using you, so that way you're using them every day but because there's so many like I don't even yeah. think about them like before I started teaching English I didn't even know what a phrasal verb was because we don't learn yeah. them in school it's just like we just learn them from speaking um, mm -hmm. but crept up does anybody know what that means so like here's an example um, so here I might say my hand crept up. Does that make sense? So like oh, yeah. th it's the action that I'm doing. Like my like my hand jumped up or my hand crept up. Okay. Kind of okay. kind of like a, a spider crept up on my shoulder. So like something like that. Can I ask something? Yes. And when I say creep and creep up, are they the same thing? Or less. Can, can you write it? Creep out? No, creep out, no. Uh, creep or creep up? I mean, they, are they the same thing? Or uh, creep up? Do they have a slight difference? Maybe? To creep up. So to creep up is the present, and then it's irregular past, so it's crept up. So past tense would be like the spider crept up on me. Um, yeah, then like present tense would be like um, the spider is creeping up on you. So yeah, so yeah, they're the same thing. Any other questions about that one or any others? Then if if they are the same thing, why do a phrase of verb exist? Because many of them have a slight difference. So example, say I don't know. Uh, Creep or creep up? I mean, they are almost the same. Well, okay, so cre creep up is to like move upwards and le like slowly. To creep is something else. Like without, like not the phrasal verb, just the regular verb is something else. To creep up is the phrasal verb and it means like to move so slowly. Like, like a spider is creeping up on my shoulder or a spider crept up on my shoulder. So... That's one thing, the phrasal verb. But to creep is another thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any other questions? No. I have a question. Okay. Uh, could you tell me the past participle of crept? Of creep, I mean. Past participle is like... Uh, uh, or is it okay if I use... Um, I have crept, or I mean, the spider have crept. Is it okay to say that? You could say crept this. Up, I mean. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The spider has crept like this. Uh huh. Crept up. Yeah, crept. Is oh, it? I forgot up. Sorry. The spider um, has crept up my shoulder and is going to attack my face or something like that. Yeah, you could say it like that. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, any other questions? No, okay. All right, uh, back to the story. Okay, um, so you guys are doing well so far. Would somebody like to read this for me, please? Anybody like to volunteer and read? Can I? I will. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Anybody? Anybody? I'm very ready, so go ahead. <laughs> Me. Who? Yeah. Sure. Um. He does that. His cigarette, but into uh. I'm sorry, I can't see. Do you want me to zoom in? Yeah. Okay. Um, A little better? Um, yeah. I put, put the left by that afternoon's rain. Yeah. Okay. And I appreciate the, the city center is how to go. Alone while using uh, 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 
Hole. Yeah, to hole up it. Hole up it. He enter in the path the the door. Yeah. Leading. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I can't see very well. Sorry, it's um, it's really small. If you want to pull it up on your own computer, right here at the class, it says Harry Homophone. Okay. Uh, would would somebody like to finish while he's pulling that up? Mm. Or do, can you see it? Mm. No, uh, my computer uh, has a problem. Okay, okay, okay. Don't worry. That's okay. Uh, would somebody like to finish this paragraph? Uh, I can. I'm sorry. I can see. You can? Uh, no. No, no, no. Okay, okay. We can have somebody else finish for you. Other person. Okay, okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Here, silently, past the door leading to the and began to climb the stairs. At the top, he paused, leaned intently to the noise that came from the room. Good. Okay. Thank you for reading. Okay. So now let's look at the homophones. So he tossed his cigarette butt. So what is this supposed to be? B T T. Good. Okay. Because the butt is uh, it's like a I think it's called a good jug. Yeah, it's a conjunction. Um, so the B-U-T-T -T is the butt. So it's the end of the cigarette. Good. Um, okay, into a into a puddle left by that afternoon's rain. What is this supposed to be? Any ideas? Rain, R-A-I-N? Yes, you're, you're absolutely right. R-A-I-N. Good. Okay. And approached the, yes. Question. No. Okay. And approached the seedy sailors' hostel that Malone was using to hole up in. So what is this supposed to be? H O L D. L E. Yeah, you're right. Hole up. So I'm just gonna double check for you. So let's see. Uh, here we go. H O L E. Yep, you're right. H O L E. Okay. Good. Uh, where were we? Here we go. Uh, he entered silently, past the door. What is this supposed to be? I think double S. Yep. P A S S and then E D. P A S. -S. Yep, you're both right. P A S S E D, because it's past tense. Oh. Past the door? Yeah, the reason I know it's yeah, past yeah. tense. Past. Yes, yeah, yes. Okay. Uh, leading to the bar and began to climb the stairs. What is this supposed to How yeah. do you spell this? Yeah. Because of the sound. Yes, exactly. And so, what is this uh, right here? What is the correct word? S A I R S. Good. Stairs. Uh-huh. Because this type of stairs is like if you're staring stairs. at somebody. And stairs uh, for this one is like the stairs that you walk on or climb up. Yep. Excuse me, could you type it up, please? Yes. Could you type it, please? Do you see Thank that? you. Yeah, no yeah. problem. Uh, okay, good. Uh, at the top, you pause listening, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, would somebody like to read the next part? Oops. Anybody? Yes. All right. Was the thinking alone, or was it just a ordinary? Know that our false snore could only mean one this uh, one thing and have only one source. This had to be the what the right man in the final fight in the ring. 
Binky had had his nose broken and now snored like a foghorn. Good, okay, thank you for reading. So let's start with the first one. Was this Pinky Malone or was it just an ordinary? So what is this word supposed to be? O-R. O-R, good. Because O-A-R is like what you use to paddle in a boat. You use an oar. Good. Uh, was it just an or, or was it just an ordinary guest? So what is this supposed to be? How is this supposed to be spelled? G-U-E-S-T. Good. Yep. G guest. G-U-E-S-T. Exactly. Good job. Um, know that awful snore could only mean one thing. So what is this supposed to be? O-N-E. Yeah. O-N-E. Good. And have only one sauce. O N E. So, so I thought that um, it is it, it's, it's not. I mean, the meaning of W O N something that you had. So okay, so we have one as in the number. Yeah. Then we have one, which is the past tense of win. So let's say you and I are playing a game. And I beat yeah, you. I know, I know that this, I know this meaning, but I thought that it's pronounced "oon." No, this they're both pronounced "one." Like, ah, oh, oh, I just, okay. I just beat Benal. I won. She lost. Or okay. I have one dog. They're both pronounced "one." Yeah. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Okay. All right. Uh, okay, so this one I'm actually not sure about. Let's double check. So it's the word you guys probably, you may not know this word and have only one source, but this word is sauce. So, you know, somebody might pronounce them the same, but sauce is kind of like I want to put sauce on my French fries. I want to put ketchup on my French fries. Yeah. And then source is like... Um, like something like mm -hmm. a resource, something that gives you or, something. Um, yeah, information. You get information from it. Exactly. So, like for example, if you're writing an essay, you might need your professor might say, "Hey, you need at least three sources." So, like three, you know, articles that you get online or three books where you get your information from. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. Wait. Before we move on, I have a question for you guys. Um. So right now I'm looking down below at all of you guys, but some of you guys it just shows like a, a, a square block that's gray. Do you guys see that? No. That, here I'm gonna show you. Do you guys see like this is what it looks like? Does it look like that for you guys? No. Huh? Okay. Maybe the. I don't know. That's weird. I'll. Take a picture and ask one of the verbling engineers. Okay. Uh, does anybody have any questions so far? Okay. So, salt and sauce, are they pronounced the same way? I don't, I, I don't, th <clears throat> I mean, obviously it's going to depend on the person, but most of the time, the first one, S A U C E, is going to be sauce, and then the second one is source. So, do you, can you hear the difference? Yes, but British people maybe pronounce it in the same way, right? Because yeah, they, pr pr they I think are. you're right. Sauce, 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 sauce. Yeah, I think they pronounce it the same way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good. Um, this had to be. So, what's wrong with this? B E. B E. Yep, both of you are right. Good. And the right man. What is this supposed to be? How is that supposed to be spelled? R I G H T. R I G H T. Good. Both of you are right again. R I G H T. R I. All right. In his final fight in the ring. How is this supposed to be spelled? R E R I N G. R I N G. Good. R I N G. Uh, Pinky had had his nose broken. 
How is this supposed to be spelled? N O S E. Good. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, good job. Uh, next one. Would somebody like to read this for me? Anybody? I can do it. Okay, thank you. As Harish Chu crashed into the door, he whipped out his gun, and there he was face to face with Long lying in bed. Malone's startled expression soon gave way to a wry smile. Good. Okay. Thank you for reading. Okay. So let's do the first one. As Harry's shoe crashed. How is this supposed to be spelled? S H O E. Good. As Harry's shoe. S H O E S. Yeah. S H O E. Uh, good. Shoe crashed into the door. He whipped out his gun, and there. How, how is this supposed to be spelled? T H E R E. Good. Uh huh. So that one's a little bit difficult. People in, Eng in like native speakers get that mixed up, get those mixed up all the time. But yeah, there he was face to face with, with Malone lying in bed. Malone's startled expression soon gave way. What is this supposed to, supposed to be? How is this supposed to be spelled? W A Y. Good. W A Y. Way. To a wry smile. Any ideas? This that, that was a little bit difficult. I, I had to look at the answer because I didn't know what it was. It's actually it's wry, it's pronounced the same way, but it's R or W R Y, like that. Wry. Which means uh, devious in course or purpose, misdirected, abnormally bent or turned to one side. So uh, crooked, a wry mouth, twisted. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. Um, okay. Sorry, the buzzing was uh, a little bit distracting. Okay. Um, oops. All right, back to this. Okay, so I'll read the next one. Looks like you got me this time. Homophone. My gun. My gun hands empty. He said, waving his right hand in the air. Okay. So, looks like you got me this time. How is this supposed to be spelled? T Y M sorry, T I M T I M E. Good. Both of you are right. Uh-huh. Homophone, my hand my gun hands empty. He said waving. His Okay. So, what is how is this supposed to be spelled? Waving. W A V I A V I N G. Good. Uh huh. You guys are right. And then what about this one? His right. R I G H T. Good. And this last one, hand in the air. In the. In the hair. In the in the air. In the air. I R I I. Or A no sorry, A I R. Good. A I R. Good job. Okay. Um. So we're almost done with this. Would somebody like to read this one?
Can I? Yeah, anybody. Go for it. Harry was just... Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, Go ahead. I don't know. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't care. I mean, whoever wants to read, we have some more. So don't worry. Harry was just about to put up his piece when he remembered that Nalo was a, a so pole and that his left hand was still mis mysteriously under the bed under, under the bed clothes. Good. Okay. So how is this supposed to be spelled? P I E C E. Good. Harry was just about to put up his piece when he remembered that Malone was the South. Poor. How is this supposed to be spelled? Any ideas? P. Ah, oh, okay. P O O R. P -O -O Good. P O O R. R. Yeah, P O O R. Uh huh. Which. P P O U R is like if you pour water into a cup. P O O R is when you're not rich and you don't have a lot of money. Good. Okay. Um, as Pinky Malone was about to let loose with his concealed weapon, Harry snapped him back into his sight and pulled the trigger. So how is sight supposed to be spelled? S I G H T. Good. Uh huh. Okay, and the last one, the blank went red. The blanket went red. R E D D. Good. D. Yes. D. Uh huh. R E D. All right. Good. Arg. Arg. Screamed Malone. You filled me full of lead. How is this supposed to be spelled? Any ideas? Think of pencils. So this one is spelled L. Here we go. L E A D, which this right here, so this is called a mechanical pencil, um, and what you put inside is called the lead. L E A D. This is lead. Um, okay. So I think everybody got that one. Okay, last one. Would somebody like to read this? Anybody? To read? Yeah, anybody with that would Harry like to read. Harry put up his hand and said, you went too far when Eve, when Eve tried to beat Harry Homophone. Okay, good. So the first one, Harry put, put up his gun and said, you went too far. How is this supposed to be spelled? Oh, oh. Good. You went too far. Uh huh. And then this one, uh, when you, I think that's you, or no, you. I, th I don't know. Yeah. So that's Y O U. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then what about this one? Beat. Wow. Yeah. So B E A T. Uh huh. Okay. B E A T. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's that brings us to the end of the class. Um, thank you guys for coming. I hope you guys learned something from this, and I hope this helped. Um, if you want, if you want to do more practice, there's the other homophones. Template class. Uh, there's the other homophones worksheet. That's Homophones 2003, which is under the class. So if you want to go take a look at that, practice some more. These are things that. Um, can help you in writing. Like when you're writing, you can write better by knowing, you know, you use this word, you spell it this way when you're trying to say this, or you spell it this way when you're trying to say this. 
So uh, thank you guys for coming. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope you guys have a good day. Bye. Thank you, Joe. Bye. See you guys. Bye to you. Ciao.